introduction, the dynamic crop models can represent strong nonlinear relationship between weather and yield, in particular for extreme climate events. However, a traditional crop model is mostly derived to simulate crop yield based on site specific level. Few studies resulting and optional forecast system due to complexity of integrate detailed input parameter from field scale to regional scales. Uh, recently, the regional rice model, GLAB rice, have, de have been developed, which provide useful to for assess forecast rice yield at regional level directly. Rice production in South Korea. In South Korea, agriculture accounts about 5% of GDP in 2000. Rice yield uh, presents about 29% of crop, crop production and 81% of crop growing area in 2000. So the rice is the most important food crop for South Korea. So in this study, the rice for South Korea was selected as a case study to forecast rice yield. Objectives. The objective of this study to estimate the soil radiation, use the regression equation between soil radiation and sun cell duration, then assess how the accuracy of temperature and soil radiation affect the ability of crop model, then investigate how the temporal and spatial scale of climate variables affect the ability of crop model. Then test the performance of glam rice and APCC MME forecast that yield rice yield high cost. Finally, test if the rice yield forecast can be improved when the satellite derived leaf index is used to for for forecast for the glam rice model. And introduction of glam rice model. Mm -hmm. Crop simulation models. According to the special scale, crop simulation models include site based crop models and a large our crop model. Site based crop models, such as DVET, seek to simulate complex dynamic or crop growth and development and its response to environment variables. Thus, it increases complexity. The large error model such as GLAM applies some simple assumption and empirical relationship to predict a complex crop growth and development. A general large error model for annual crops GLAMs. The GLAM has benefit of low input debt requirement and capability of the large area. In GLAMs, the field bed management can be replaced by yield gap parameter. The yield gap parameter in GLAM is a calibrated parameter, which is ratio between actual farmer yield and potential yield. Currently, the GLAM model can simulate groundnut, wheat, maize, soybean, and rice. The diagram of GLAM. In GLAM, biomass acc is accumulated through transpressor and transpressor efficiency. Transpressor affected by soil radiation, soil water, leaf canopy, and roof system. Leaf canopy is affected by water stress and yield gap parameter. The yield is the product of harvest index and boil mass, and harvest index is affected by high temperature stress. GLAM input and output. The input of GLAM include daily weight such as rainfall, soil radiation, minimum temperature, maximum temperature, soil type, and plotting data. Output include soil wood balance, leaf can be root growth, boil mass, and crop yield. The framework of development of glam rice model. Best of existing glam weight model uh, have developed the glam rice model. The development of glam rice model including the incorporating the wood balance or paddy from the other model. And then Define the rice parameter set, quantify low high temperature stress, photoperiodic effect, and CO2 fertilizer effect. Originally, the GLAM rice model is developed to assess impact of climate change of rice for South Korea. 
Development of regional rice model, GLAM rice, include three stages. Stage two, stage one, collect rice growth at developing primate center from literature and experiment that set. Stage two, link what balanced model or pet field from our to search model with GLAM. Stage three, primate rice, rice crop growth at development processes such as photobiotic defect, high low temperature and CO2 fertilizer effect. Validates of GLAM at national level of South Korea from 1996 to 2010. This fix this fixed comparison of observed yield with simulated yield with main model driver with the observed validator. Generally, there are good agreement between observed and simulated yield for South Korea. Assess how accuracy of climate variables affect the forecast scale of crop model. This fixed the relationship between rice yield and soil intercepted soil radiation. There is a significant correlation between rice yield and intercepted soil radiation for South Korea. However, there is no significant correlation between temperature and rice yield for South Korea. This indicates that soil radiation is an important climate variable for determining the rice yield for South Korea. In South Korea, the rice in irrigated soil is not safe to, to rainfall, so there is no significant correlation between rice yield and rainfall. Soil radiation. The accurate soil radiation is required for reliable crop yield forecast. However, in South Korea, the measured soil radiation is only available in a limited meteorology status. The black, the black like such stations where the, the measured solidity assay is available. However, the science side record is available for all stations in South Korea. So the science side director is used to estimate solid assay. Estimate of solid assay duration. The solid radiation is estimated using the answer type regression equation. Here, H bar is estimated solar radiation. H0 is extra-textual solar radiation. A at B is constant value. H bar is the solar radiation sun duration. H0 bar is maximum sun cell duration. Solar radiation in South Korea. And states where there is no observed solar radiation, the estimated solar radiation is used. Then observed as estimated solar radiation as six states in South Korea from 1980 to 2010 were interpolated to 0 0.25 by 0.25 degree scales using the nearest neighbor interplace method. This figure shows the average total solar radiation during growth zero of rice. The average the seasonal total solar radiation from 2000 to 3000 mg per meter square. Estimate how the accuracy of solar radiation affects the ability of crop model. You, as, you ought to assess how the accuracy of solar radiation affects the ability of crop model. The glam rice model one draw with the estimated solar radiation and uh, solar radiation from in real terrain. Result so that rice glam model with the estimated solar radiation so the better performance than use the solar radiation from in real terrain. So the accuracy of solar radiation is very important for skill of crop model. Assess how the accuracy of temperature affects ability of crop model to forecast crop yield. Two experiments were done. First ex experiment, a glam rice is raw with historical temperature interpolated from state survey data. Use the precision based downscaling estimator method from career meteorology administration. 
second experiment, Graham writes in the with historical derivative template interpolated from six stressors using the new neighbor interplace method at a 0.25 by 0.25 degree scale. Result showed that there is a high correlation between observed simulated yield when Graham writes the one raw use the new neighbor interplate template than the pre the downscale template. The outfit probe spatial scale of weight data need for a crop model for improved forecast accuracy. The graph model was run with the 0.25 by 0.5 degree, half degree, and one degree scale weight data respectively. This fake third PDF of correlation coefficient between observed and simulated yield when the model is run with the 1 degree, half degree, and 0.25 degree weighted respectively. Without the that, when the spatial resolution of climate variable increased from 1 degree scale to the half degree scale and 0.5 degree scale, there is no improvement on model scale. Effect of spatial scale of weight data on model scale at national level of South Korea. This fix the observed yield against the simulated yield at national level of South Korea when Graham model was run with 0.5 degree, half degree, and one degree weight data respectively. Result is so that when model run with the 0.25 by 0.5 degree weight data, there is a high correlation between observed simulated yield than the one degree and half degree scale weighted. However, the difference is quite small. This indicates that maybe the one degree weight data can be used to forecast rice yield for South Korea. Temporal scale temperature. This fake shows the comparison of observed rice yield and simulated rice yield when model is run with the daily temperature and 30 days average temperature. Result shows that driving model with the 30 day average temperature can result in a great difference compared with predict temperature yield with the daily temperature. Temporal scale of solar radiation. This fixes the comparison of observed rice yield with the simulated rice yield when model is run with the daily solar radius and 30 day average solar radiation. Just so that driving model with the 30 day average solar radiation leads a large difference compared with predicted yield with daily solar radiation. Temporal scale of rainfall. This fake sort of compares all observed rust yield with simulated rust the way model is run. Well. Use the daily rainfall and 30 days average the rainfall. Result so that drum is model with 30 days average precipitation without similar result compared with usual daily precipitation. This is because in Korea, rice we 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 get so yield in those stage to change precipitation. So this indicates that a 30 days average rainfall can be used to forecast rice yield for South Korea. Forecast rice yield use APCC MME signal forecast. We know weather crop forecast system. The weather forecast from James general circulation model was downscaled using a very generated original climate model. Then downscaled weather forecast were linked with crop model to assess uh, spatial parameters and model uncertainties. Finally, processing output and forecast crop yield. Methodology. Firstly, find the finest working spatial scale of weight data to run the crop model. Then, Crop model at working spatial scale with the observed red data and high cost red data. Finally, forecast crop yield. 
APCC MME signal forecast. There is six models for the six mass forecast and 11 models for the three mass forecast. The daily maximum minimum temperature and rainfall were downscaled from the monthly APCC forecast date and the two degree scale by Dr. Cha to the 57 57 stations for South Korea. And daily solar radiation is met use absorbed sun sun duration and stations. Then all this all this climate in vapors were interpolated to 0 0.25 by 0 0.25 degrees scale use nearest neighbor interplace the message. Climate variables all from each ensemble me is used to as input our corporate model. Let's start the regional rice forecasting. Firstly, the gram rice will run with the historical rate data at APCC MME forecast data set at 0 0.5 by 0 0.25 degree scale. Then simulate results were spatially aggregate to the national level for validation and predict for crop yield. Finally, the rice yield will be predicted by updated seasonal forecast with observations as seen of progress for May, June, July, and August. Skill of ground rice at national level of South Korea when model is uh, used a six month MME forecast dead set. This fake third correlation coefficient between observed and simulated yield when model is uh, with observed that set and forecast that set from six models and forecast that from May, June, July and August respectively. Before the forecast that stage, for signal forecast is updated with observations. We have to show that by updating the by updating the signal forecast with observations, the skill of ground rice will improve and signal progress. The correlates the third greatest increase with the July update for the most of models. So the most accurate prediction or observed yet come from the UNSAP July and August forecast and also from Palmer for July forecast. Scale of gram rice at 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 scale. That's forecast update with with uh, May. This map so the correlates the coefficient between observed and simulated yield weight model in run with the uh, forecast from six models and observations. The dark red shows a significant correlation. The result shows that correlation of predict with observed yield showed less homogeneity in space. In some grid cells, there, there is a weak correlation. So the model can't capture variability of observed yield. Scale of gram rise at 0 0.25 by 0 0.25 degree scale. Forecast is updated until August. So with the forecast date or up forecast date, the correlation between prediction and observation increased with update of forecast from May to August. So it's the correlation should more homogeneity in space. Compared with the performance of multi-model me to individual modules and 0 0.25 by 0 0.25 scales, this fixed correlation PDF or correlation coefficient between observed and simulated rise yield when model is run with the individual models and multi-model mean. Result shows that the multi-model mean did 
so any benefit than the any single models. Skill or glam rods at national level, when the model A rod use three mass MME forecast. For this rod, forecast it began from August. Two experiment is done. The first experiment before August, signal forecast that it used. Sec second is experiment before August, the way forecast is updated with observations. So we thought that by updating the unit forecast with observations, forecast skill improved greatly. The most accurate prediction are observed yet from the GCPS model and uh, unsafe models. Comparison of observed simulated rust yet at the national level. <coughs> This fixed comparison of observed rice yield with the predict rice yield with the PERMA model and the simulated mean yield. So that says simulated rice yield showed a good agreement with observations, weight model with, well with the forecast from PERMA with lead time of six months. So the SIG best model showed similar performance with multi model mean. Satellite derived leaf index. Some previous studies showed that crop forecast can be improved when model is updated or forecast forced by satellite derived leaf index unit with home generated cover. So the satellite derived leaf index will be used in GLAM to force if test if <coughs> the rice yield forecast can be improved. The MODIS leaf index. The satellite rod leaf index from MODIS at work kilogram per kilometer resolution were obtained from the Lad Atmosphere Interaction Research Group at Beijing Normal University in every eight days. The improved MODIS LR were generated by Use your temporal and spatial filter. The land use mapper by national map organization and work kilometer scale were used to abstract pet field for South Korea. The distribution of pet yield pet field in work kilometer great cells in South Korea in 2003. Then the MODIS area in pet field and work kilometer resolution in South Korea were integrated to 0 0.25 by 0 0.25 degree scales. This fix uh, correlates uh, between rice yield at MODIS maximum leaf aridex and 0 0.5 by 0 0.25 degree scale in South Korea from 2009. The result shows that there is a weak correlation between MODIS LOI and rice yield for most grid cells of South Korea. This indicates that maybe the quality control of MODIS LOI at work kilometer resolution required also maybe the resolution of 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 degrees scale is not appropriate. Comparison of MODIS LOI observed the LOI in Dantin County of South Korea. Obviously, the observed LOI is as mis estimated by the MODIS LOI. Fourth, glam rice uses satellite derived leaf index. This fixes the comparison of observed rice yield and simulated rice yield when glam model is raw. Use the glam LOI and MODIS derived LOI. Results so that Four years glam rice using a satellite derived leaf air index didn't improve the forecast skill or model. Conclusions there is a high correlation between estimated and observed daily solar radius in South Korea. So the anthrose type regress equation can be used to estimate solar radius. Right glam model with the ISMED solar radius, so the best performance that use the solar radius from year to year. 
in South Korea. The wind spacer uses a climate wave increased from 1 degree scale to 0 0.25 by 0 0.25 degree scale. There are no significant improvements in performance or glam rise. By updating the signal forecast with observation, skill or glam rise improved as signal progress. The multi-model yet me showed similar performance to individual models. The correlation showed the, the greatest increase with the Ju July update, so less humidity in space. The fourth year glam rise used satellite derived live dexterous to improve forecast skill or core model. Thank you.